My dear students, welcome back from our short break. We closed the first session by looking at the similarities of monopolistic competition and perfect competition. Now, we start looking at the differences between perfect competition and monopolistic competition. To make it simple, we write on this side, perfect competition. And on the other side, we write monopolistic competition. Under perfect competition, commodities we say are homogeneous. Commodities are alike in such a way that you cannot differentiate the products of one supplier versus products of another supplier. They offer commodities which are alike. But under monopolistic competition, we have said that commodities are differentiated. The monopolist competitive firms supply goods, commodities, which have close substitutes. Under perfect competition, there are no selling costs, no advertisements. While under monopolistic competition, there are advertisements. We don't need to advertise under monopolistic, under perfect competition because commodities are similar and there is constant price. But under monopolistic competition, the survival of the monopolistic competitive firms depends on the ability of that firm to advertise so as to get the customers. Under perfect competition, another difference between the two is that the demand curve is horizontal, which is technically known as perfectly elastic demand curve. If this is price and this is quantity, The demand curve is horizontal. While under monopolistic competition, the demand curve slopes negatively from left to right, slopes downwards. Slopes negatively. Price versus quantity, 
this will be the demand curve. Under perfect competition, there are no transport costs. which helps to make price to be constant. While under monopolistic competition, there are transport costs. Which make price to differ from one market to another market. Another difference which is existing between the two market structures is that uh, long run equilibrium. We say that the equilibrium is found at the point where marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue. But uh, the long run equilibrium under perfect competition is found at the point where long run equilibrium is found at the point where long run marginal cost is equal to long run marginal revenue, which is equal to long run average cost, equal to long run average revenue. While under monopolistic competition, long run equilibrium is found at the point where long run marginal cost is equal to long run marginal revenue, the point which is below long run average cost. Long run marginal cost is equal to long run marginal revenue. This point is below long run average cost equal to long run average revenue. If we had to demonstrate this, we have on this side, this is the price versus quantity. This is our long run marginal revenue, which is equal to long run average revenue, which is the price point. This is the long run marginal cost curve. And the point of tangency of the long run average cost, we get the equilibrium point. So we find that at this point, long run marginal cost, long run average cost, long run marginal revenue, long run average revenue is at the same point. But on a, the long run equilibrium under monopolistic competition is found at the point where long run marginal revenue and long run marginal revenue and marginal cost below long run average cost and long run average revenue. We can demonstrate it as price versus quantity. This is the long run average revenue curve. This is the long run marginal revenue curve. This is the long run marginal revenue curve. If you have to consider this point where marginal, this is, is supposed to be marginal cost because this is marginal revenue. This point, marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue, but the point of tangency, we get this as long run average cost. We get where we can get the price, the price point. So at this point, average revenue is equal to average cost. At this point, marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue. 
same equilibrium requires marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue. Marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue. But on this side, it's found at the same point, but on monopolistic competition, you find at two different points. And uh, perfect competition, we don't have no excess capacity. While under monopolistic competition, there is excess capacity. You found it even under the situation when the firm is getting just a normal profit, the minimum point of the average cost is found after the point of equilibrium. While at this point, the minimum point of the average cost is found at the point of equilibrium. On the other side, the point of equilibrium is found before the optimum point is attained. So basically, these are the differences between these two market structures. After having seen the differences and similarities of uh, perfect competition and monopolistic competition, our next item is regarding the similarities and differences between monopoly and monopolistic competition. There are some points where monopoly and monopolistic competition are similar, but there are also differences between monopoly and monopolistic competition. The thing that we are going to discuss after. There are some similarities of monopoly and monopolistic competition. My dear students, monopoly and monopolistic competition, you find that in both the demand curve slopes negatively. The demand curve looks like this demand curve sloping downwards. Another similarity between monopoly and monopolistic competition is that in both there is excess capacity. The point of equilibrium, marginal cost is got to marginal revenue. But uh, the point which is found before the average cost curve has attained its minimum point. In both, the equilibrium is found when marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue. The point of profit maximization will always be attained at the point where 
marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue. And again, in both, there are selling costs. All deal with advertisements. They all advertise for their products. These are the similarities. We need to analyze the differences between monopoly and monopolistic competition. Dear students, we are through with the similarities of monopoly and monopolistic competition. We'll continue with uh, the differences between the two market structures in our next session. For the purpose of uh, getting assistance regarding questions in our programs, you may send SMS or through WhatsApp number 0769048594. And for the purpose of uh, capturing the previous topics, you may go through our YouTube channel called Elimika. Thank you for watching.